we're given the following reaction. And I notice all of a sudden it says I've got initial concentrations, and it gives me two, and then it says I've got a constant, it says equilibrium and another concentration here. But I've got to find the equilibrium constant at a certain temperature. So if you recall, if it says initial and it's got equilibrium, we're going to use the Rice method. Now remember, what is the Rice method? Well, first we need R, which is the reaction. So I'm going to rewrite the reaction. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space as I write it so that I can fill in information underneath. So we've got the reaction. And then what comes next? Well, next is I. Rice is I. So if it's I, I stands for what? Those are your initial concentrations. So when I initially started, it said CO was 0 0.27 and H2 was 0 0.49. And it didn't give me any information about the product, so it's going to be 0. And then we've got C, so that's going to be your change. Now, how much did it change? Well, we're not exactly sure yet, but we know that at equilibrium, what the product was, so I'm going to come down here for equilibrium, and I know that the equilibrium, the CH3OH, was 0 0.11. Well, 0 plus what gives me 0 0.11? It gives me positive 0 0.11. We'll make that a true statement. So if I had to add it on this side, remember if it's on the other side, I'm going to have to take it away. So for every one mole of CH3OH, there's how many moles of CO? Well, there's just one. So I'm going to subtract 0 0.11. And then here now, instead of one mole to one mole, it's one mole to two moles. So two times 0.11 is 0 0.22. I just need to do my subtraction, so I'm going to get 0 0.16 for the CO, and I'm going to get 0 0.27 for the H2. Well, now I know what all of the concentrations are at equilibrium, so now I just need to find K sub C. So if you recall, K sub C equals the concentration of the product. I don't have a coefficient, so it's not raised to any power divided by the concentration of the reactant. So I've got CO, it's a 1, so it's not raised to anything. I've got H2, there are two of them, so that's going to be squared. I'm going to put in what I just found right here for the equilibrium. So I'm going to have 0 0.11 over 0 0.16 times 0 0.27 squared. And then I'm just going to calculate that on my calculator. And when I did that, I got 9.43072023. As usual, how many significant figures am I going to want? Well, if I look at the problem, I have two in the first one, two in the second one, two in the third one. So I'm just going to need two. So the 4, look at the 3, doesn't tell me to round up. I leave it the same, so I'm going to get 9.4.